Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn for Turkey. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about Rust based Python package manager. It is a single tool to replace pip, pip tools, pipx, poetry, pyenv, twine, and virtual env. Let us understand how we can make use of it quickly. So, first of all, you need to install uv in your system. So, you can install it by a curl command, which is present in the documentation. But since I have already installed the pipex, so I make use of pipex to install uv. So pipex install uv. You can follow the pipex documentation to install pipex. Otherwise, I will add it in the description section. Okay. So once uv is installed, so first of all, in order to create a virtual environment using uv, we can type in uv v e n v. Okay. So it creates a virtual environment carrying the currently active Python version. Since I have the active version 3.12.6. In this shell so it takes makes use of it and created the virtual environment now in order to use it you can simply activate it with this command source.venv bin activate and then run the python program using python main.py okay so this is how it creates virtual environment very easily now similarly we can install the python version with the help of uv install the python version using uv uv python install particular version you can mention like 3.10 0.54. This is the command I have triggered just before this video. So I have inst already installed the 3.10.4 with this command. You can simply hit enter, it will install it. If you want to see where it is installed, so you can see UV Python list. And here 3.10.4 is installed by UV. What is the path in which it is installed? You don't have to worry, it will make use of your local share folder. So it will not pollute the global space. So I have this home directory dot local share uv python here it has installed the 3.10 version that I have triggered okay. Similarly you can remove the python version using uv python uninstall command you can remove the particular python version okay. And now let us understand how we can make use of uv to initialize the project. In uv we can create two types of project one is application project second is library okay. So let us understand how we can create the application project uv init command. So let us first delete this dot vnb just to avoid any confusion. So uv init my app. So it initializes the my app project simply with this couple of few few files here py project.toml similar to poetry and and hello.py which simply prints in hello from my app. Okay. So let us try to run this program. Now uv run hello dot. So before that you need to go to the folder my app. Okay, and then type in uv run hello dot py. Okay, so it will run hello from my app. Okay, now as soon as I type in hello dot py, previously there is no virtual environment. It automatically detects. Okay, there is no virtual environment. Let me have it and then run this program. And in a fraction of seconds, in uh, it it done done its activity and it prints up the hello from my app. Okay, now uh, now let us understand how we can add dependencies in this project. Currently the pyproject.toml file, it shows the python version which is uh, as the requires python version over here because it picks up from the current shell and there is no dependencies. If you want to install the request package uv add request. So it will simply install the request package over here and created the log file uv.log file similar to package.log file or similar to uh, that uh, poetry.log file correct and then you can uh, if you want to install the py test file or any de dev dependencies what you can do uv add py test hyphen hyphen dev so that way you can install the dev dependencies using this hyphen hyphen dev flag okay and if you want to remove it you can simply use uv remove you if you can simply uninstall the dependencies uh, from your uv project okay so this way you you are able to create the application in the application is that there is no build block basically in the py project.toml there is no build block so you this that particular build block is available in the library project so how we can create the library project let us come out of this my app project okay i am i'm coming i have already come out of it now let us create the python library using uv uv init my lib suppose this is the library any calculator uh, to start with you can create a calculator uh, library and make use of it in your application okay or anything else uv init my lib dash dash lib is the option that is mandatory to be given and then it will initialize the library so it is little different in the py project.toml file you can see it has added a build system it is mandatory otherwise it will not be uv build will fail so it supports more than one uh, build uh, system you can switch it according to the documentation and uh, then you can trigger in the command just 
for building it up cd mylib so i'm building this python library using the uv build command okay so it will build the library and it creates a dist directory within it it, it generates the tar.gz file and the wheel file whl file okay now if you want to if you already have a configured account on the pi pi index uh, repository you can simply make use of that token to publish that library using the uv publish command okay so if you type in uv publish command it asks for the token if you already have it you can put it here and press enter and it will publish your package over there very easily otherwise we had to use uh, pip tools or some other tools uh, twine basically to publish this to the library so it basically it it obviates those those tools we can simply use uv itself so since i don't don't have anything i'm just typing in enter enter it will try to upload it because uh, i don't have the token added so it fails okay now let us see a few more commands i'm coming out of the mylib directory now uh, if you happen to uh, like similar to uv which is the fastest uh, you can say package manager which is written in rust similar to that we have a rough ru double f which is a fastest uh, formatter uh, created by astral the same company which has created the uv so how do we install that particular tool in the isolated environment uh, there are cases if you, if you have to use this tool core, core formatter within the project or outside the project right so if you have to install that particular tool outside the project without polluting your current project space like my app you can create you can simply install it with the uv tool command so uv tool install rough okay? so by with this uv tool command we can install the packages or in the isolated environment so I already done that installation. So it, it simply says that rough is already installed. Otherwise in your case, it will be installing. If you want to see what all tools are already installed, UV tool list command, it will show the list of tools that you have installed explicit to your project. And with the rough, it is basically a linter plus formatter uh, written in Rust. So you are you can simply link to your current Python project using the rough. Okay. How do you, uh, how you are going to do that? Suppose I want to link it with the help of rough. So CD my app, go to your project directory and i'm just clearing the screen with the c as c is alias basically so uv okay if you want to run it you can type in uvx which is a which is a shortcut for uv tool run command okay otherwise you can type in uv tool run rough okay and if you want to check the linting errors etc so you we have to type in rough check okay so we tool run rough check with this command all checks are passed basically there is no linting error and why because we already only have hello.py file which is a very simple file you can try using it and uh, then it, the shortcut if you want to have it is uvx instead of writing uv tool run the, the shortcut for this is uvx you can type in uvx rough check and the same thing is the output okay so this is about uv tool command okay now if you want to tree that if you want to see the dependency tree you can type in uv tree command okay it will show you the up dependencies dependency dependency tree like the way we did it for the poetry poetry show tree flag command similarly here you, there is uv tree command okay now uh, the addition to this you can cover up the uv documentation to understand the uv workspaces which is uh, the similar like we have uh, workspaces concept in cargo in rust similarly uv have introduced the workspaces concept uh, as well you can make use of it to have uh, same uh, like a uh, single repo to contain uh, like to contain multiple libraries in the single repository and controlled by uv okay so that is one of the things that you can learn from uv documentation rest you can also talk where you can also learn about how we can run the script python script using uv and using the inline dependency basically if you write in the python script which has a import statements uh, and if you want to run it with the uv command you can do it and mention the dependencies in line within with the uv command using the with flag okay dash dash with okay in that way it simply run the script without dem demanding you to create the project okay i hope you understand the concept of uv in a very short interval of time very well and i hope you will you are going to use the uv in your upcoming project it is the latest tool and it is fastest although it may be a little less stable compared to poetry but yes it is more mature now and you can start using it even in fact fast api uh, quite uh, embrace uv to so you can use uh, uv with fast api to have a very good combination of creating a, a backend apis using python so uh, i hope you uh, uh, got the concept very well thank you so much for watching this video if please subscribe to this channel to have more such videos coming along to you thank you so much for watching bye